So here we got Earth. And you know that as you go up, the acceleration due to gravity decreases. You might also know that if you go towards the center of the Earth, g will also decrease. But this descent, this decrease, will happen according to different formulas. So suppose we go at height h above the Earth, where gravity becomes g1, or the acceleration due to gravity becomes g1, and we also go down the Earth for minus h, so for the same distance, and the acceleration becomes g2. The question that I want to ask in this video is for what h does g1 equal g2? So let us recall formulas. First we do it for going above Earth. And this will come from a familiar Newtonian law of gravitational attraction. So we know that if we are at height h and we have radius r here, so we got h here, you should know that the force is g times m1 times mass of Earth over r plus h squared. But f is ma due to second law uh, of Newton, where a is this acceleration at this point. But let us simplify this expression a bit. How? Well, we know that at the surface, at the surface, where h is equal to zero, we denote our acceleration by g, which is approximately 9.8. And so it is equal to g times m1, m earth, over r squared and m1 is just our mass, okay? So if you combine this formula and this formula and rewrite a in terms of g, this is the expression that you get. And this is what we are going to remember in our stage one. So now we need to understand how gravity behaves as we go inside Earth. And here's the assumption that I'm making. Here in my picture, I have divided my Earth into concentric spheres. And I assume that the mass of Earth is equidistri equidistributed. So mass is equidistributed. Meaning that if I take the same amount of volume anywhere in my Earth, it's going to weight the same. Now, in this scenario, I know that if I reach depth h down the Earth, so I'm at this point, all these outer layers that lie at depth less than or equal to h will not matter, and the gravitational attraction will only be due to these internal layers. Let me label them as red. So the gravity will only come from this central part. And if you're not sure why this is the fact, I will include a description of this in the end of this video. So now, what is the radius of this red sphere inside Earth? Well, it is simply r minus h. So the volume of this red sphere is 4 thirds pi r minus h cubed 
and I'm sure you know this formula for the sphere, but at the surface, at the surface it was 4 thirds r cubed. Okay, so now, as I've stated before, the attraction of this black point here is only coming from this red sphere and it's again going to obey Newton's gravitation law. So we get that M1A is G M1 M of red divided by, well, the distance is zero, but the radius is R minus H squared. So again, M1 cancels out and mass is just density times volume. So we get that it's G over R minus H squared, four thirds pi R minus H cubed times rho somewhere here. And then of course, I minus H squared cancels. And here we get power one. And then we again want to substitute this initial value. And what do we get? We get something like G times R minus H over R, which is the same as G of one minus H over R. So make sure you go along these calculations if you doubt mine. Right, so now we got both formulas. We got a formula for acceleration above Earth and for one inside Earth. And the only thing left is to equate both quantities and G will cancel out. So the equation that we need to solve for H is the following. So a natural thing to do would be to cross multiply and get this expression. So then you get r cubed is r cubed plus h r squared minus h squared r minus h cubed. These guys, of course, cancel out. And then we can divide through by h because h is not zero and get a quadratic, which is h squared plus hr minus r squared equal to zero. And now if you remember the formula for the quadratic equation, we understand that h is minus r plus or minus r squared plus 4r squared divided by 2. And something familiar is coming up because here we get root 5. And of course our height cannot be negative, so we're only interested in one value in this plus minus uh, sign, which is plus, and we basically get r of root 5 minus one over two. So once again, here's our result. And this number in the brackets is golden ratio. This is a big surprise. It turns out that gravity and golden ratio are connected.